Pronator. The ProfitNet Network Analyzer is a free program that supports you in the fast and effective commissioning of ProfitNet networks. Pronator gives you a quick overview of the devices connected to Profinet and allows you to conveniently check and document the I.O. wiring of decentralized peripherals. Neither a controller nor engineering software is required for this. In this screencast, we show you how to perform the I.O. test to check the wiring of an ET200 SP. Pronator is available as a free download from Siemens Industry Online Support. Extract the Pronator file archive into a folder on your PC and connect your computer via an industrial Ethernet cable with your plant. You can start Pronator by a simple double-click on the program icon in the Extraction folder. On the Pronator home screen, you can choose between the following tasks. Network Analysis I.O. Test Settings You can return to the home screen anytime during the operation of Pronator to select a different task. To work with Pronator, you must select a network adapter that connects to the Profinet network. Click on Settings and select the Network Adapter tab. A list of Ethernet adapters found on your PC is displayed. Choose the appropriate adapter from here. Click on the Network Analysis to display all currently connected devices online. Wait until the online scan has found all network devices. Depending on the network topology, utilization and size, this can require a few time. After running the network scan, you will get a graphical view of your topology and a device table of accessible devices. The graphical view shows you which devices are connected in your Profinet network and how they are topologically interconnected. In the tabular view of the device table, all devices found online are listed. In addition, a large amount of different device data can be displayed by right-clicking in the table header fields. With the I.O. test, you can check the wiring of your distributed I.O. device even before installing a CPU and without an engineering system. The test results can be protocoled quickly and easily. The I.O. test supports the most current Cymatic ET200, Cymatic I.O. Link and other modules. For more information, see Settings on the GSDML Manager tab. To start the I.O. test, you must select a device with which you want to continue the I.O. test. You have two options. Click on the I.O. test task in the Start screen. In Device Selection mode, Pronator shows a symbolic display of all Cymatic ET200 devices which were found during the current network scan. The green check mark indicates that this device is available for I.O. test. For example, it has a valid IP address and device name. Select the desired device, in our case an ET200 SP module, and click double on the device or right-click the Show in I.O. Test button. You get to the I.O. Test tab. The second alternative to start the I.O. Test, click on the Network Analysis task in the Start screen and select the required device in the Graphical view or in the Device table. Click on the Start I.O. Test button in the context menu with the right mouse button. You get to the I.O. Test tab. Wait until the network scan has found all network devices. In I.O. Test mode, the screen consists of the Device View, Details tab and the option Force and Monitor values. The Device View shows a symbolic representation of the device you selected for the I.O. Test mode. The status and I.O. LEDs are updated in real time to reflect the state of the physical device. The Details table consists of four tabs. Parameters – to set the module parameters. If you click on any of the modules, the parameter table of the respective module is displayed. Parameters can be only edited while forest and monitor values is not in operation. The parameters can be stored to a file on disk, loaded from a file and copied and pasted from the Windows clipboard to transfer the parameters to a different module. Click on the function Force and Monitor Values to start the I.O. test. The following message warns that manipulating the interfaces of control components can result in sudden movement of the machinery. Make sure the machinery is in a safe state and confirm the message with Continue. When Force Mode is established, the header bars of both the device and the details view will turn light green. In addition, the words Force Mode appear on the right side of the header. To get a larger view of any module, click the plus symbol above the module. A small pop-up window will appear. If you open several modules, their pop-ups will be arranged in a row within a single window. Test results to perform and protocol the wiring test for the currently selected device. 
The test table is vertically divided into sections according to the I.O. modules present. Each section can be collapsed and expanded. The corresponding section will be opened or highlighted, depending on which module you have selected. DI By applying a voltage to any input, the LED of the corresponding input module will light up and this can also be seen in the control column. Record the results in the status wiring column to document if the wiring is OK or faulty. You do this by selecting OK or Error. Not applicable is entered by default if not yet tested. DQ Click on any LED symbol of an output module to toggle the status of the corresponding output. Digital outputs can also be forced in the control column. AQ Read analog values from input and output modules in the same fashion. You can force an analog output value either by entering the numeric value in the corresponding field or by dragging the slider across the slider bar below. Clicking the symbol next to the field will reset the output to the default value. The I.O. test is not supported for F modules. You can store the results of the current I.O. test as a CSV file either when the test is completed or when the test is interrupted. You can also load the test results of an earlier I.O. test to continue the test. By clicking on Reset Test Protocol, Pronator deletes all results of the current test and you can start over. The tab I.O. Event Log records a log of all regular events which occurred to the modules while the I.O. test was active. You can start the I.O. Event Log to a CSV file or delete all entries from the current event log. The tab Diagnostics records irregular system events that occurred on the device during active I.O. testing, like pulling or plugging of modules. If the Diagnostics buffer contains events pertaining to a module, the corresponding module header in the device table will be displayed red. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.